my dear students today's topic is u bacteria now what do you mean by u bacteria they are the true bacteria and they are characterized by the presence of rigid cell wall and if it is motile then they have flagellum now first i would like to discuss about cyanobacteria cyanobacteria they are the member of this group they have characteristics that are similar to bacteria they are also known as blue green algae you have already heard about some of the examples of the cyanobacteria like nostoc ossetoria spirulinum so there are lots of examples of cyanobacteria now this type of bacteria or blue green algae they can survive in a wide range of habitats like hot springs sea water polluted water they are predominantly aquatic but many species are known to be terrestrial also even they grow in minimal moisture conditions now there are three forms of cyanobacteria unicellular form like crococcus next colonial form that is mycocystis and filamentous form like nostoc or ossetoria now let's discuss about the cell structure of this type of bacteria next is the cell structure the cells of the u bacteria have a definite form cell wall which is rigid in nature which is surrounded by a sheath which is generally mucilaginous this is bilayered the inner layer is made up of peptidoglycan now the cell wall is followed by a plasma membrane which is made up of lipid and protein they lack any type of cell organelle and even do not have any true nucleus because they are prokaryotic thus they have nucleoid hence there is no nucleolus in the nucleus and thereafter there is no nuclear membrane so the nucleus is actually nucleoid and there are photosynthetic pigment present in the cell which is located in the broad sheet like lamellae known as thylakoid the pigments which are present in this cyanobacteria are chlorophyll a beta carotene mixoxanthophyll mixoxanthine c phycoerythrin and c phycocyanin phycocyanin is more in number or more in amount in this bacteria than the phycoerythrin and hence it gives a remarkable blue green color to the bacteria now some of these bacteria are generally at, uh, they can fix atmospheric nitrogen so they are nitrogen fixing and hence they have a special structure called heterocyst that generally help this bacteria to make the cell wall so thick that they are impermeable to oxygen and this heterocyst are the site of nitrogen fixation next come nutrition in cyanobacteria they are mostly photoautotrophic they contain chlorophyll a and other photosynthetic pigments next is reproduction they show generally asexual and vegetative mode of reproduction sexual mode of reproduction is absent now in case of binary fission occurs in case of unicellular form and fragmentation occurs in the form of colonial form and filamentous form of bacteria and the small fragments which are formed thereafter are known as hormogonia asexual means of reproduction asexual means of reproduction involves endospore formation and exospore formation as well as akinetes endospores are the spores that are produced endogenously within the vegetative cell while exospores are formed exogenously as a spore and akinetes are the thick wall spores that are also having some food material stored in them next come the uses of cyanobacteria first use some cyanobacteria have the ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen and hence they are used as green manuring by the farmers to enrich the nitrogen in the soil second use is some of the uh, cyanobacteria like anabena they help in prevention of soil erosion and its conservation spirulina it is a fantastic cyanobacteria which is used as a protein rich supplement for human this is a very fast growing cyanobacteria and known as scp 
single cell protein which you will read in class 12 and finally cyanobacteria like anabena they prevent mosquito larva to grow in the surrounding so these are the uses of cyanobacteria the last topic of this video is harmful effects of cyanobacteria some cyanobacteria are even harmful like they discolor the wall and the roofs of building monuments and statues second harmful effect is oscillatoria that may cause asthma and gastrointestinal problem by releasing its toxin third is the oscillatoria again their growth in the water body shows pollution or by organic matter now excessive growth of cyanobacteria may cause water blooms that will decrease the oxygen level in the water causing death of aquatic animals so students i hope you understood about the cyanobacteria the next is mycoplasma that i will discuss in the next video if you have any query regarding cyanobacteria do write me in the comment section below and if you like the video and its content do share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel stay happy stay safe thank you thanks for watching bye Thank you.